Hello chess enthusiasts, my name is Miha and welcome to my chess realm YouTube channel. So we are at the Armenian Championship in the 7th round, Int interesting game between David Shahinian and Tigran Levoni Petrosian. He's not related to the famous Tigran Vrtanovic Petrosian as far as I know. So let's see what happened in the game. David Shahinian had white pieces and he started with e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to f6. And we have Petrov defense only now, white plays knight to c3, transposing into a 3 knights defense. So black plays a bishop to... Uh, before and now white uh, captures this unprotected uh, pawn on uh, e5. Now there's no point in recapturing immediately with the uh, bishop removing this defender of a uh, pawn on e4. After knight captures we have queen to uh, g4 double attack on this pawn and the uh, knight and this is very very bad for black. So in the game uh, first black cast uh, king side. Now there's no point in defending this pawn on e4 either because later black simply with d5 and with this uh, knight on the same file as the king pinning this knight this is very very bad for white. So white plays uh, knight to uh, d3 as the theory suggests and bishop captures now on uh, c3, uh, d pawn recaptures and finally now uh, knight captures uh, pawn on e4, white plays knight to uh, f4, uh, releasing diagonal for his uh, light square bishop and now black plays uh, rook to e8 preparing this cover attack uh, on the king so white has no other option but uh, uh, interfere on this uh, uh, line so bishop to e3 was played and now uh, d6. And now a very interesting move uh, from white, uh, queen goes to f3, white is preparing uh, queenside uh, castling and of course uh, black doesn't have a bishop pairs and he wants to connect this uh, uh, to knight. So first white, uh, sorry, first black uh, plays a knight to d7, now white castles uh, queenside and now knight to uh, f6. Now both knights are connected and of course black is threatening bishop uh, to g4 trapping uh, this queen on uh, f3. So white plays h3 uh, protecting this uh, g4 square. And black develops further, uh, bishop to e7 was played, uh, sorry, d7, preparing bishop to d6, again, uh, this uh, unpleasant discover attack, so uh, white plays uh, c4. And now after bishop to c6, uh, here white has an outpost on d5, so knight jumps on uh, d5. And here in this position, uh, well, black can capture uh, this knight on uh, two ways, so, and black has decided to capture with bishop. And now, of course, uh, c pawn uh, recapture, so black has totally given up on the bishop pair, two knights, versus two bishops, we will see who will be able better to exploit his uh, advantages, and now black plays uh, c6, trying to uh, remove this unpleasant bishop on d5, well of course recapturing immediately maybe it's not the best option, because uh, after queen to a5 attacking this uh, pawn, and after black recaptures we have an open uh, b5 preparing to harass the king, so uh, black doesn't, sorry, white doesn't capture for the time being, bishop to uh, c4 was played, defending this uh, pawn on d5. And here comes a very tricky move, b5 was played, attacking bishop on uh, c4. Now bishop has, uh, let's say, two ways of uh, retreating, either b3 or uh, e3, well, the best way would be uh, to go to uh, d3. Well, first of all, uh, defending this uh, pawn on c2, uh, moreover, uh, putting some pressure on this pawn on uh, b5, because if black decides to capture or maybe c5, black can easily grain this pawn. Yeah, but even if uh, black would capture, then probably white could play also g4. Now, preparing g5 with the pawn store, and also bishops are targeting this uh, black king, so white gets a lot of uh, counter flavor for this sacrifice pawn. In the game, however, white plays, bishop goes back to uh, b3. Maybe not the best move from strategically point of view, because now black plays c5. Mm, more blocking uh, the center, let's say. Uh, of course, there is a general rule in the close position. To knights are stronger than bishop, so uh, maybe here white should immediately try to challenge uh, black with uh, c4. Because after uh, c4, if black plays before, position is close and white king is safe. If, however, black captures, white recaptures, still, let's say, white has some uh, chances here uh, in the open. But uh, in the game, white plays a modest c3. And now, of course, black plays uh, e5, preparing to advance with the a pawn, so white plays uh, bishop to uh, c2 immediately. And, of course, uh, black further pushes a pawn to uh, a4, preparing a3, trying to undermine the only uh, defender of a pawn on c3, who happens to be attacked by the knight. So, again, maybe best option would be white would be either, uh, let's say, a3, double defending this uh, b4 square, Maybe even bishop to d2, let's say putting some pressure here on the b4, also protecting this pawn on c3. But white is not sensing any dangers, so uh, rook from h2 e1 was played. Now, of course, white wants to remove this bishop and uh, later take over the e-file. 
but uh, white sorry black plays now a3 attacking pawn on uh, b2 well of course white cannot capture on a3 because after queen to e5 this pawn is going to be captured there's nothing white can do about it in uh, of course if white makes uh, i don't know a random move then we have queen to a3 check uh, this square is protected so king can only go to b1 knight to c3 king to uh, a1 and queen to a2 checkmate if however white tries with uh, b3 like i said this pawn is not protected knight captures attacking this rook on uh, d1 well uh, if white wants to preserve the rook let's say rook to d2 then we have uh, queen to uh, a5 well this point is going to be captured because uh, b1 square is protected also uh, b2 so king cannot uh, protect it after this point is going to be captured then uh, a pawn has a uh, freeway all the way to the uh, first rank in the game white plays uh, bishop to f4 of course with queen protecting this pawn on c3 and now uh, a pawn captures on b2 checking has to uh, capture and uh, black is already much better and the best way to continue this was probably simply by playing by placing queen to a5 because after queen to a5 we have this attack on this uh, a2 pawn well yeah this uh, knight is three times attack but if uh, white captures then knight simply captures after rook captures queen simply plays queen to uh, a2 checking has no other option but to go to c1 and now uh, we would have uh, b4 preparing b3 well, if c pawn captures, uh, then uh, c pawn recaptures again. We have an uh, open file here to caress uh, the white king, and this is uh, totally lost for white. In the game, however, black doesn't play queen to a5. Instead, uh, b4 was played. Now, c pawn captures on uh, b4, and now uh, uh, queen to. Um, uh, b6 preparing to grab this pawn and now white defends with uh, queen to b3 of course black cannot capture with queen because then white trades queen and uh, black loses the edge so black plays uh, c pawn captures on uh, b4 preparing this knight to uh, c3 attacking this uh, pawn on uh, a2 with a deadly attack so white uh, plays a prophylactic move bishop to uh, a3 attacking the queen now black defends the queen with uh, knight to uh, c5 of course also attacking the queen but as long as this knight is pinned by the bishop the black uh, cannot capture or maybe still the best option would be for white to uh, simply capture this uh, knight uh, on c5 because this would force black to either capture with uh, pawn or a uh, queen so black wouldn't have time to deploy either of the rooks here on the c file instead white plays queen to uh, c4 preparing bishop to b4 to defend this a2 pawn with the bishop and now black responds with rook to e goes from uh, c8 preparing this cover attack on the queen white still plays bishop to b3 and now queen goes to uh, a5 now queen is no longer pinned so black prepare, prepares uh, queen to a4 with check with the attack on the queen and now white has finally decided to grab this uh, knight on c5 so bishop captures on c5 but it's too late because now rook captures on c5 attacking the queen and uh, white plays queen to uh, e2 of course there are some back bank rent made pattern but as long as this uh, square is double defended uh, black doesn't have anything to worry about so black plays rook to uh, c3 preparing to uh, sacrifice here on uh, b3 removing the the only defender of a pawn on a2 well white is more or less lost here uh, let's say uh, bishop to c4 doesn't help because then black would play queen to a3 and after king to b1 we have rook goes to uh, c8 so bishop would be double attack there's no point in defending with uh, rook to d4 because uh, black simply plays um, uh, b3 preparing attack here on uh, a2 well if bishop captures then we have a simply rook to c1 rook captures rook captures checkmate if, if however white would try with uh, queen to uh, b2 then still there would be a uh, a pawn captures here on a2 and after bishop captures we have queen to uh, a5 attacking this rook also preparing this uh, attack on the queen so white would have to defend with um, rook to b4 but then white would sorry black would play rook to uh, c2 attacking the queen preparing here mate on a2 so here white would have no other options but to capture this rook after rook captures king captures 
and now queen captures bishop with check after uh, white removes the queen. Um, black has a time to uh, resolve this uh, bank rank mate patterns and with the uh, knight up uh, the queen and the knight versus two rooks, black is uh, winning. In the game, uh, white tries to somehow defend this bishop with rook to d3. And now, of course, uh, black doesn't care. Rook still captures here on uh, b3. Now, let's see. White can either capture with uh, three pieces. Well, let's see. If rook captures uh, rook on b3, then we have uh, queen to a2 check. King can only go to c1, and then we have uh, rook to uh, c8 attack on the king. Well, there is no point in delaying the mate for a couple of moves. After uh, king to uh, d1, we have queen to b3, and if uh, black defends with queen, then queen to c2 uh, check mate. If, however, uh, king goes to d2, then rook to c2 check. After king to d1, queen to b1 check mate. If, however, king captures uh, on b3, then we have uh, queen to a4 check. Now, king has uh, two options. Uh, if king goes to... Uh, c4 then we have rook to c8 check and uh, the only way for king to go is now d4 but then we have a uh, queen to a7 check mate if however king goes to b2 then we have queen to a2 check king can only go to c1 and then we have rook to uh, um, c8 all squares here uh, along this uh, uh, lines or files are taken so king can only go to d1 but then we have uh, queen to b1 check king can only go to d2 queen to c2 check king can only go to e3 and rook to uh, e8 check when this king is uh, gone then black gains decisive material advantage in the game pretty much the same happened uh, pawn captures uh, rook on uh, b3 and now of course queen to a2 check king can only go to c1 rook to c8 check King to d1, uh, queen to b1, those moves are all force, and now after king to d2, queen to c2 check, king to e3, and now rook to uh, e8 again. King can only go to, uh, let's say, uh, f3, but then uh, rook captures, rook captures, queen captures, more than enough material to win the game, and realizing this, in this position, David Shahinyan resigned the game.